In order to succeed in guarding one's tongue, Shmir Saloshan, you really have to see the good in people. You have to see people as being a soul with a body and not a body that might have a soul. When you see yourself as a soul, you can see other people as a soul made in the image of God Almighty. When you see yourself as a soul, you see yourself as having inestimable self-worth. You are a divine creation and God loves you more than you love yourself. You have infinite self-worth. No one can take that away with you, from you. And just as you view yourself as a precious, precious soul, a child of God, so you should view other people as being just as precious and just as worthy of love and honor and respect. Another gem, another way of succeeding in Shmir Saloshan is to judge people favorably. When you see someone do something, you don't have to automatically jump to the conclusion they did it on purpose. They're uncaring, they're not careful, they don't like other people, they're not a serious person, they're surely meant to do harm. Judge them favorably. Everyone has their own set of life circumstances. They were born into a specific family. A specific environment. God gave them certain conditions, environmental conditions, maybe some disabilities, speech difficulty, a limp, and all those factors, internal and external factors, have shaped the person into who they are. Now someone can always overcome their environment, but it does shape them and affect who they are as a person. And if we can think to ourselves that if it wasn't that that person was born into such a poor environment, where they had to fight for everything they got, then maybe they wouldn't be that type of person or have that particular character trait that we dislike. Or maybe the rich guy who had everything served to him on a platter, on a silver platter. Maybe he wouldn't be so arrogant if he was born into a middle class family where people had to work for everything they got. Judge someone favorably. Befriend people. Not everyone has the same struggles. Everyone's working on something different. You might be working on praying, getting out of bed, and staying in the Shema on time. Someone else might be working on doing acts of kindness for others. Just because you don't see the other guy staying in the Shema on time, doesn't mean he's a bad person. It doesn't mean that he doesn't care about praying. It just means he is working on something different and we have to appreciate other people for their differences and accept them for who they are. 
and once we begin to have this mindset of loving a fellow man as ourself and judging people favorably and being understanding and accepting of differences we'll be able to guard our tongues better we'll be able to bite our lip we'll be able to stop ourselves from, from speaking out against others when a person has had to struggle and overcome difficulties in their life it gives a certain perspective on what it is to overcome difficulties and challenges and when you can notice and accept that other people have their own set of challenges different from your own then it'll become easier to not speak out to button your lip good luck